Realize every time you're in a Japanese restaurant eating sushi, there's a little Japanese man in the back going, <laughs> They ate it! <laughs> Maybe you want some hot wine to go with it. <laughs> I looked up sushi in a Japanese dictionary. It means dumb fuck. <laughs> Raw fish. You don't see a lot of Japanese listening going, oh, oh, Give me some of those parasites. That's steaming hunkin' at ya. <laughs> We don't know. I mean, there won't be another Pearl Harbor. We won't hear them coming. We'll have little Walkman radios on going, Wow, bitchin'. <laughs> In Japanese movies, the dubbing's designed to mess you up, too. You always see Japanese movies like, Quickly, you must leave the village now. <laughs> Makes you want to smoke a joint. Oh, hey, it fits. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have an announcement before I go on. Will the owner of the DeLorean car... Will you please check your trunk? I think you'll find your rebate. <laughs> sure gives new meaning to toot the old horn. <laughs> oh, strange. I don't know. Oh, that cocaine. Somehow it always disappears somewhere. Some guy going, well, uh, Tom, uh, where'd the 240 pounds of coke go? Sorry, Sarge, you left the window open. <laughs> Must have blown out during the night. And then you see, like, thousands of animals, people walking down the street going, Hey, great day, great day, great day, hey. <laughs> Little cats over there, hey. <laughs> I don't know. Cocaine is such a bizarre thing. You always see, like, six or seven guys crammed into one small stall. And then you hear them all come out, and they're, oh, here's this. <laughs> and then one guy has to go, flush. Let's walk out. <laughs> And you have to, you always see the guys going, you think there's any speed in this? No, no speed in yeah. <laughs> Looks like Howdy Doody on acid. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Want to go back to your seat? Yeah, let's go back to our seats now. <laughs> hey, yes, we know what they're doing in there. They're doing the devil's dandruff. <laughs> the Peruvian marching powder. <laughs> You're doing cocaine in there, we know. You know, cocaine is God's way of saying you're making too damn much money. You know that. <laughs> yeah. Yes, indeed, you do, dog. You have to be careful there. You know, because also the wonderful side effects of cocaine. Oh, like the paranoia and the severe impotence. Oh, yay. <laughs> it's nice. You do one little toot of cocaine. All of a sudden, Mr. Happy's going, I'm melting. <laughs> you and your damn cocaine. And then you're lying in bed going, Showtime, showtime, come on! <laughs> He's doing his impression of on the waterfront. I could have been some, but I don't know. And you finally have to turn to your lover and go, hey, It's not mine. <laughs> I don't know whose this is. This is a stand in. Oh, it's a limping. I don't know whose it is. And sometimes people get a little paranoid. You do a little cocaine, you start to get a little paranoid. Your friends always come and say, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. A little paranoid? No, everybody off! Everybody off! <laughs> and you find yourself standing looking out the window going, <laughs> no one's there still. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, your dog walks in the room going, you okay, man? <laughs> Listen, if, if there was someone out there, I would have barked by now. <laughs> And then the people have the stuff that's cut with the wonderful things, like manit or something else. And sometimes people have the good shit, too, where they go, Here, try this, man. Come on. Ah! What was in that, man? Fiberglass. <laughs> I didn't think you'd notice. No, man, I like bleeding like this. Yes, and then you make the big mistake. You try and go to bed. <laughs> You feel like a vampire on a day pass. <laughs> You're lying in bed in a big pool of your own sweat with Buddy Rich on your heart going... <laughs> and you have conversations like this. Yeah, I'm fine. Redundant, 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 redundant. Yeah, redundant, 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 redundant. Yeah, redundant, 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 redundant. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> And then, then you think, I'll take a quaalude, I'll be fine. <laughs> no, taking a quaalude then is like throwing bricks in the Grand Canyon. <laughs> quaalude, such an anti-evolutionary drug. 
so strange to see a girl who's taking two or three quaaludes in the lipstick room going, Is my makeup on? I don't know. I saw once my cat ate a Valium. So sad, so little kitty, he ate the Valium. So I'm sitting over in the corner looking at his paws going, Me? Oh, shit, I knew how that went. Oh, yeah, meow! <laughs> For sure! You ever come home late at night, turn on your light, your cat's in the cat box going, turn off that damn light. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put the shit everywhere. <laughs> My cat got revenge on me, though. My cat got revenge because one morning, Mr. Happy woke up before I did. <laughs> morning. The cat was laying on the end of the bed and went, oh, a mouse. <laughs> oh, Oh, Lord! Oh, nothing more painful in the world is prying those four little claws. Listen to the cats going... That's when I invented the catapult. The cat thought he was safe to hit the wall and went... Oh, shit, Teflon! But you know your cat doesn't care about you. He doesn't care about you if it's warm. Sure, he'll be nice cold outside, he'll run up against your leg going, I love you. <laughs> but it's like late at night, usually five o'clock in the morning, all of a sudden your cat wanders downstairs going, gotta go outside. <laughs> you better open the door. I'm gonna take a dump on the rug. <laughs> you know the shag carpet. And you haul your ass downstairs, you open the door, the cat goes, later. <laughs> you think, now I can go back to bed. No, no. Kitty has more surprises for you. Because Kitty goes out and finds the only other cat in heat in 800 miles. And has the sex of a lifetime under your bedroom window. You haul your ass downstairs, open the door again, the cat's going, How you been? <laughs> Usually your dog's over here going, Oh, you're going to get it now. <laughs> oh, God, oh, boy, they're going to kick you all off. Your cat just walks past your dog going, You asshole. <laughs> You never, you never see a cat go, you never see a cat out in like a major park going, hey, a frisbee. They never go for that stupid shit. It's always a dog going, I'll do it. What do you want me to do? I'll piss on a tree? I don't care. Jumbo, I'll, want me to swim in the water, get the dead bird? I'll do it. They have the dogs that work like, in the, like to smell out drugs. Those dogs are lucky though. End of the day, you see the dogs sitting in their kennels going, hey, great day, wasn't it, damn it? <laughs> yeah, Bob, yeah, I know, I knew Rennie, we, he and I were like this, damn it. I know, and then you see the dogs, the other dogs who work in the bomb squad going, I don't want to die. <laughs> I've got puppies to feed. I have a strange dog. I have a dog called a Malamute. Yes. The dog is so mellow. The dog is just the kindest, it doesn't even bark, just goes, Wow. I have a little California cat that goes, meow. We used to have a little New York cat, didn't even meow, just go like, what do you want from me? Yeah, it's strange, but in New York, though, they have rats that are so damn big, they sit outside the apartment buildings going, here, kitty, come on, man. <laughs> um, you ever lived in New York? If you ever lived in New York, you come home late at night, you turn on your light, and in your apartment, there's 17 cockroaches by the refrigerator going, Hello, my honey. Hello, my bitch. <laughs> the two biggest cockroaches of all are standing by the refrigerator going, big can of raid in their hand going, <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Shit. You cop a buzz yet? <laughs> Let's go over there and stay in that roach motel. <laughs> They go in the Roach Motel, there's a big black widow spider going, I got some for your ass. <laughs> Praying mantis wandering out going, Hare Krishna. 